Yay! Tuesday, January 30th. Uh, this is not going to be a long video for those of you who are doing the home game. Uh, I just want to give you a little explanation as we begin our species things today and other things going on to make life a little bit better. Fable species we're going to begin today. We're not going to be videotaping those because kids and creepiness, uh, but at least I can explain the directions to you. Book report checkpoint due tomorrow. Regular kids is eight squares. My advanced kids, you have ten squares. Once again, if you want your paragraphs to count, they have to be typed on the item. Uh, if you have them written by hand, either pen or pencil, it's only going to count as half a square. Magic lens quiz coming up on Friday. If you want to get yourself prepared better for the magic lens quiz, focus again. On my website, the grammar page, I put up a practice quiz, which you're more than welcome to do. It is just like Friday's quiz. I just rewrote it with different sentences. Essentially, you're going to be reading uh, a sentence, and there's one word in there to tell me, is that word going to be a noun, verb, adjective, adverb, stuff like that. I also put the answers up there. Not because I'm helping you cheat, but because it is a practice quiz. So the idea is you take the practice quiz, then you have no idea how well you did, so then you bring up the answers and you check how well you did, and the ones you missed be the ones you want to go back and fix. So for those of you who want to prepare, I figured I'd throw that up there to help you. Or, like many of you will be, uh, choose laziness and just let it be a surprise come Friday. But for those of you who would like to be prepared, I figured I'd throw it up there and try to help you out on that one. Um, and that is a 28-point quiz, uh, 14 questions. Uh, you're going to have two questions, now and two questions, verbs, so on and so forth. You do not get to use your notes on it. It is just you and your brain. It's the whole trying to give you a chance to practice first. Questions aside from angry glaring. Okay, good to go there. Uh, then, the hero shirt is now officially live after going through some of my other questions. The one that seemed to be that got less grumpy about was the friend style. I did have to put a small tweak to it. Uh, for the shirt, and instead of um, the little circles or the splotches in between, I might have put my own little touch on them because uh, I thought that sort of personalized it a bit more. Uh, so that's what we have coming up in the back of it. If you're familiar with the Friends episodes, each one says like the one about. So ours is the one about the best team of 2018 because, you know, hashtag truthies. Uh, and then oh, yeah. for yourself because. Uh, it's also on my website, so I'll send out the email to your parents. It's due, uh, if you want to do the order forms, it's due a week from today. Tomorrow. Uh, $12 for a t shirt, $20 for the hoodie. Uh, and if you want to go for those, then you're more than welcome to. Questions from there. Then, for your Fable check, go ahead on your iPad, bring up your Fable now, because I'm going to be taking a look at it, because that's going to be part of your grade that I can see that you typed it up on your iPad. Double check, this is the things that will help you get all the points. One, do you have at least one motif? things I'm looking for as you go through. And so there should be something from the notes where you have one fast rabbit or one grumpy bear or something like that. Is it between two and four solid paragraphs? That has been one of the bigger issues so far as the kids are just going to be one giant block of words because they forget how indenting works. So that's going to be one of the points is to make sure you have the, the paragraphs in there. Uh, does it end with the moral? So make sure the very end of your fable is the last thing you get to is the moral, the thing we learned from it. And so make sure that your moral connects to the story. So those things, two things go together. Also, I didn't officially tell you this before, but I'll go ahead and tell you now because it's an easy thing to have to add in. You're going to put a title on it, and so your title is just going to be usually just the animals that are in it, the chipmunk and the hippopotamus, the squid and the shark. Or if you want to come up with a more exciting one, you're welcome to, like the curious raccoon or something like that. Or you can just call it life or whatever title you want to come with, but you're going to do some kind of title, and that's how you're going to start it. And so that's mostly just for the one in your notebook. If you don't have it on the iPad, I'm okay. The, the title on the iPad is more than one in the notebook. Just whatever title you want to go with along there. For your speech, my goal is to give you the full 10 points. I will tell you how many points you got at the end. The way you lose the points and you avoid trying to get that full 10 is the good path. Big word. It's like 12 letters. Good posture and stance. Uh, don't be wiggling and distracting while you're up there. If I have to tell you stop wiggling, that will cost you a point. Uh, same thing with your hands. If I have to tell you to stop fiddling with them or hands out of your pockets, that will end up costing you a point. Uh, if you don't speak for at least 30 seconds, that ends up costing you points. Or the bigger issue for kids so far has been going over 60 seconds. I stop you at 60 seconds. If we don't get to your moral by the 60 second mark, that does end up costing you a point. Because you have to be at least 30 and then not go over the 60. So you have to get in between the two of them. So as long as you should be able to get in there, then you should be good to go. Uh, you can look at your notebook twice. If I stop the timer, we look at your notebook because uh, you can't read from it while you're up here. You are going to be standing, once again, up on chair for your speech. 
notebook will be on my podium behind you. So when you need to stop, you have to stop your speech and actually physically turn to look down at it. That's when I will stop the timer for you. Uh, and you can look at it up to two times after that, and I charge you a point. Not a point each time, I just charge you a point for using it more than twice. Excuse me. And then once again, make sure your story connects with your moral. Ah, which? Um, oh, will we be able to see the timer while we're going? Um, it will require you to turn around. Would it? Well, yeah, but will it cost us points? You can turn around twice. <laughs> That's why you practice me. I'll practice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, dear. Words, I understand. Um, and then, because see, coming up for you guys, they have a speech today, uh, 10 squares tomorrow, Thursday. We'll finish out, we should be able to finish out the rest of the table and create speeches. They're going by pretty quickly so far. And then Friday is the Magic Lens Skills Quiz. Oh, I should have put a C on that to make it even better. Skills Quiz. I failed you, I apologize. Uh, I'll be ready for that. <laughs> then, any questions from there? Those of you playing the home game, that's about it, because now we're going to get into kids uh, coming up in front of the class and crying openly. Uh, and there's no point to put that online for you.